Yo, what's up, y'all? I have a few things I want to say before we get started. I really appreciate each and every one of you for the continued support on this channel. Man, y'all the best, man. And uh, FYI on some projects I'm working on, Miles. If you haven't seen my community post, I'm making a Miles Morales animation in Dreams. I figured it's been a long while since I worked on a Spider-Man animation so it seems like a perfect opportunity to make another one. I won't be posting videos of my progress of the animation like I have on the other one. You know, it'll just release all at once. So, you know, look out for that. And also you guys may not know, but I'm working on a big project with the Adventum dev team in Dreams. You may have heard of the Crystal Guardian a while back. Well, I'm one of the animators and I'm going to start spending more time there as well. But don't freak out. I'll have more than enough time to work on the side project. You know, we aren't slowing down anytime soon. So uh, those are the announcements for today. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the concept art for the light enemy drones. As explained in the last video, the light enemies are basically the easiest enemies to defeat and the drones for the most part will always be on the light enemy list. Now don't roast me in the comments, I know my drawings aren't perfect, <laughs> but this gives me a great idea on what I want to scope in dreams. Don't forget that these are just concepts, not the final look. And now I'm going to put up numbers next to the designs here, so I want you all to choose your top three drone designs. This will give me a better idea on what I can model different drones after while giving them each a unique style. Okay guys, now let's talk about the Trello. I had it all planned out, man. Work on concept art and sculpt the light enemies. That was it, but by day three or four, I realized something. What am I doing creating all these enemy designs and I have no clue on what environment they will be in? How will they interact with their environment? Who else lives in the environment they are in? And it became clear to me that I should have put environment art above everything else. There's no point in sculpting enemies when you don't have a place and reason for them to exist. So guys, I hate to change it up, but we have to change our monthly goal to environment art, specifically the main area the protagonist will be in. Well, what might that be? I call it Guardian City. And here's a rough 3D layout of the city. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get an open world RPG to explore and do fun, amazing quests and find missions. Sorry guys, that's not the case. <laughs> this will only be a semi-open world, mainly because Dreams can't handle very big and detailed open worlds like GTA 5 or Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima. Tsushima, come on man. Even if dreams could handle it, I wouldn't even be interested enough to make that big of a world, especially since this is a solo project, but you will be able to go to different areas and explore. More details on that later. But the plus side of creating this city and it being semi open world is that I won't have to create every single thing for every corner. I can focus on one section, make it the best I can, and create an illusion of a gigantic city in the background that the player won't be able to explore. Yeah, but trust me, there will be plenty to explore in the area you will already be in. So yeah, as you see, I'm thinking of having a train circle around the city right here. And at the heart of the city will be the headquarters the hero will frequently visit. Again, more on this later when I reveal more of the story. So uh, yeah guys, this will be our new goal for the month. Now, it shouldn't change from this point forward. I'll post my progress soon and make sure you guys stay tuned for future exciting content coming your way on this channel. Take it easy man and I'll see y'all in the next one.